It surely is. It surely is a lovely night. It surely is a lovely night, John. Lovely group of people. Lovely group of people right here. People on fire. Please have a seat, everybody. John, I gotta ask you, what was that? I did not. What is that lovely song y'all were pr playing out of the break there? Oh, I, I, that that just came popped into my head today. Oh, really? Yeah. Feels oh, like, I like today. It. No title. Really? Yeah. The chords that feel like today. It feels like an early spring song. Yeah. A lot of potentiality in there. I know it's got something happening that, that that's about to happen. <laughs> that spring. Something yeah. happens about to happen. Ooh, I mm. love that feeling. That yeah. Anticipation. I'll tell you another thing I, 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 I love feeling, and that is the fact that uh, Broadway star Beanie Feldstein is going to be out here in just a little while. And <laughs> star of Funny Girl on Broadway. Funny Girl. And uh, old friend of the show, Chance the Rapper, is here tonight. He gave him some lyrics. He gave him some lyrics, maybe. Yeah. Folks, you know how we all would like the pandemic to be over, and, and in some ways we're kind of acting like it's over, but in a lot of other ways it feels like maybe it's not over? <laughs> well, well you're, you're not alone in feeling that way, because according to many experts, COVID could be surging in the U.S. right now, and we might not even know it. <laughs> so, Jimmy, let's move the Late Show COVID level tracker from orange to... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So what's the data say? Well, apparently the data is a mess. Part of the problem is that people are increasingly relying on at-home rapid tests. But those results are rarely reported. Well, yeah. We're testing at home. Who are we supposed to report it to? Hello, I'd like to order a large cheese pizza, a two liter of Mountain Dew. I'm COVID positive, and you know what? <laughs> Let's get a half pepperoni. Not that I can taste it, right? See you in 30. Do. <laughs> Garlic knots. Ah! Garlic knots. Ah! The other issue with data tracking is that the government is no longer covering the cost of PCRs, so people without insurance could pay up to $125 for a test. No wonder no one's testing. For $125, you can get half a tank of gas. <laughs> plus, plus states like Arizona, Hawaii and Nevada have now completely stopped reporting daily COVID data to the CDC. But if you're in Nevada, it is safe to assume you have caught something. <laughs> and it doesn't stay there. There's one, there's one fairly... Sure. Da, 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 da. There's one fairly reliable way to track COVID cases, and that's wastewater. And it's looking crappy. Take a New Haven, Connecticut, where according to sewage, there's a low rumble <laughs> of COVID-19 cases. Low rumble, by the way, usually a sign that you're about to produce some sewage. <laughs> the pandemic's been a rough time, OK? Obviously, it's been a rough time. So it's no surprise that a new analysis found that expletives in transcripts of quarterly earnings calls, investor conferences, and shareholder meetings rose to a five-year high in 2021. Well, can you blame people? I mean, cheese and crackers, folks. The last five years have been the worst fudging time in my whole friggin' life. Dag nab it all to H-E double toothpicks. The researchers acknowledged the benefits of colorful language, saying swearing can provide an emotional release psychologically gird you to withstand pain and cement team ties. Don't I know it? <laughs> That's why this year the Late Show softball team is the f Buckets. <laughs> okay, as you can see, unfortunately, CBS won't let me swear at work. And it's not just on the air. All right, who killed the f Joe? Read the sign, ass. You finish the f coffee. You make some new f coffee. Is that complicated? Cut that f off, mother. <laughs> we'll be right back with Chance the Rapper.